Okay, everyone, welcome back. This is some things I picked up this past weekend. Um, no, not at a garage sale, not at a flea market, not at a store. Uh, I got this stuff here from Meet Mr. Pete. Uh, he held a meet and greet event at his home workshop in, um, or his home actually, in um, Illinois. I took a ride out to see him, and um, there was about, I think he, the final count was about 230 people showed up, so it was a bigger turnout than he expected. So, um, so he had, uh, he had some food, refreshments, uh, plenty of door prizes from uh, some of his uh, sponsors. Uh, this particular dial indicator, this Noga style dial indicator here that I was uh, fortunate to win, was donated by uh, Shaw's, one of his sponsors. Um, so, so that was really cool. Uh, and then he had some uh, freebie things that uh, people uh, uh, donated. These little, these little uh, positioning hammers, whatever. So a little magnifying glass in there. Um, so that was cool. And met um in addition to meeting mr pete i met randy richards uh nice guy uh, we spoke a little bit uh met adam barton from solid rock machine shop uh we we, we spoke for quite a while really nice guy we we were uh, talking a bit all those guys have uh, youtube channels as well i also met another guy who was staying at the same motel uh as me and uh, his name is Tim, and he's got a YouTube channel. It's uh, Solar Fire Technologies, uh, and uh, he's just started putting some videos out. I think he's got four right now, so he's got some interesting stuff there. So uh, you know, you might want to go over there and check him out. He uh, he was handing out these here, uh, pretty uh, cool pens here. It's got a metric and an imperial scale. A little bubble level in there, and a little uh, tablet stylus, and under the cap here there's a, a little mini uh, flat and Phillips head screwdriver. So um, nice guy. We were talking for quite a bit. Um, so ch check out his channel. Uh, I'll put um, I'll put their channels down in the description uh, below. Um, so. Uh, in addition to to the to the people I mentioned already, there was uh, Brian Block was there, uh, Pierre from Pierre's uh, Garage, uh, Phil from Phil's Projects. Those guys came down from Canada. Uh, there was a guy who came all the way from Oregon, uh, and he won a he won a prize for uh, long distance. So that was pretty cool, uh, and. Uh, they had a whole bunch of other giveaways. They had stuff from Edge Technology. They had uh, Niagara Carbide uh, end mills, uh, Vaughn Hammers, uh, and these are all sponsors of um, Mr. P. KBC Tools. Uh, they had some stuff. Um, so, um, so it was a lot of fun. It was really nice. It was um, it was very generous of Mr. P. to 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 open up his home to everybody. Uh, and um, I got to go down into his basement shop and look around and uh, I took some pictures and um, it's just like when you watch his videos you know um, and uh, but something I something I want to I want to reiterate I mentioned it early on in my first video that I uh, set up and that I'm not a professional machinist. I'm not trained in this. This is not my profession. Uh, so everything I do is at hobbyist level. Most of the stuff I learned was either trial and error, or a lot of it I refined my stuff watching Mr. Pete's uh, videos. So I just wanted to show people that not to be afraid to try to do these things um yeah, you're going to make mistakes or whatever but you know it's really not as difficult as you would you would think 
Um, yeah, you need some machines. It's you know relative, like expense-wise, but you know you don't need professional, full industrial machines to make stuff. I like making these little miniature steam engines, these model steam engines. Every time you make something, you improve your skill a little bit, and that's what I want to uh, point out and try to show everybody that you know you don't have to be a professional machinist to make little projects and uh, and every project you make uh, you get a little bit better your tolerances get a little tighter and um, you know uh, practice have fun and you enjoy it so um, so that's what I just wanted to, to remind everyone um, so when I do this this is just a hobby of mine and I enjoy doing it and if somebody watches something and they learn or think of one see one thing that might help them that's great so um, you know, there's so many different ways to go about making a piece or holding a piece uh, you know so it, it's it, it's not just one way to get to the same destination here um, so, um, so that's why I just want to remind everybody so that'll pretty much wrap it up I got some pictures I'm gonna put them um, at the end of this and um, once again uh, you know uh, if Mr. Pete is watching this thank him again and um, for putting on such a wonderful event and um, very good so uh, alright guys thanks for watching and um, hope you join me back here soon as we continue working on that little Scotty engine